Hello everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, we are installing our QR code and now the time is to save this QR code into our project, right? We are going to add this into the project and then I'm going to append this on the PDF. So let's get started. So here we are generating this out and uh, now I find this uh, solution on the QR code that uh, how to save generate QR code in the Laravel, right? And uh, you can also set the format here that uh, um, you want to uh, convert this uh, QR code in which format. For example, by default, if I go here, it's in the SVG format. So just go here, click on this. So it's in the SVG format, right? SVG. Okay, so how to change the format? So we can change the format like this. Uh, PNG, uh, maybe it will be the string PNG. Save this one, give it a refresh. Says expecting size or wire. Oh my god, here yeah, just add this arrow symbol, give it a refresh. We need to install the Imagic extension because Imagic is used to, uh, Imagic is used to. Um, display this uh, PNG commit. So we need to install this image extension, right? So I'm going to install this uh, image extension, right? So go here, set this like this, and uh, code chief, you can follow this code chief. They are also writing very uh, well article. I follow different times and they are very good. And uh, there is no Compose and commands will search this that out. Okay, after map or oh, we have the image file in our PHP, right? Hello, everyone. In the previous video, we are facing the issue that we need to install the image extension, right? So, here you need to go to this website, you need to just write this uh, image extension or PHP, and this one contains a lot of PHP version basic files. Right? You can click on any of uh, the any of the image library on your operating system bit. Right? So, I'm using the 64 bit, and I have already downloaded this out. Right? And uh, I pasted this out here. Right, I will extract this later. And here there are two steps. You need to extract this file, copy the PHP image.dln file and save it into the exe directory of your PHP installation. And then you need to have the DLN file may contain these files, you need to copy them and add them into the root directory of their php.exe exists. And then you need to change this into the env file and restart it. Right. So just go here, extract this out here and uh, here we need to find this uh, let me find the name php magic dll e magic dll so just go here copy this one and uh, open it into the new explorer Right, go to C drive, Laragon, and in the Laragon we have a bin directory. In the bin we have a P, uh, not in the bin we have extension directory. So let's find this extension. We have this uh, uh, etc, and in the etc, no, we don't have any extension directory. So let me check this out. Uh, save it into the extension directory. So let me find it that to uh, get it located in the Laragon because I know that where it's located in the XAMPP, but I don't know where it's located in the Laragon. So bin is equal PHP in this one. So where are the extensions? Okay, so just go back to data. I see etc and etc contain the no, it's contained out of our application. What the hell is this? Why I never to find this uh, extension directory? Ex 
extension yes it's there and here i need to paste this out i pasted this out p3 magic dot dll right and uh, now let's go back and here read it from there that you need to copy the core filter mid mode all right so set this uh, core uh core rl core rl okay and uh, then filter to find the filter where it is so just go down 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 and we don't have this one or magic object maybe we have emoji magic object magic object dot dll file right so depending on which and save this into the php root directory right so just to go here in the php here we have a php root directory where php.exe exists and uh, paste this out and this one is added right next step is done and now i need to go to the i'm going to add this line into the my env file right so here i'm on the same version and let me open the env file find this extensions here so this one contain the extension and uh, here i'm adding this out extension into music save this one okay restart your server i'm using this laragon so i'm restarting this laragon refresh it go back and uh, here just give it a try and still it says that you don't have so just go here click on this so uh, and to go to this uh, php and in the php you need to go to this uh, extension so here yes image is there right now image is there but it's still saying that to uh, install the image and use the backend so uh, let me uh, it's doing this on the home page right uh, yes i'm doing this on the home page so that's why it's doing like this i already installed this image extension so let me uh, open this into the incognito mode maybe it's having due to you know, caching issue refresh it and it's still saying that you need to install the magic extension to use backend so we done all of the steps uh, but uh, maybe uh, it's not located and we need to add this into the env file it says that depending on and save this into the php root directory where you have a file or into the directory in your path variable okay we need to uh, call this magic path right so just to go here we have this magic and uh, copy this and no we already added this out right so just go to the environment variable then environment variable i have this path directory and here path so just go here we add this out so let me add this new here and uh, copy its name magic.dll okay what's the name of this one so here let's add this out magic okay and uh, now let's go here i think i don't need to restart on the server refresh it and still i'm unable to do this okay our video size is not going bigger so i'm going to try it here okay and uh, uh, magic okay download this out so let me get some instruction from there okay it's copying all of the files right Aage jo IM prefix hota hai, usko copy karna hai simply. it's copying the cc all file it's totally depend upon the version it's copying these core files then out and copy to this crl and now let's go to the php directory and here we need to add this out refresh it and uh, yes we did this it's also selecting imm file so let me also check it that is it contain this yes we need to copy this filter imm all files 
is correct so let's copy this from the filter yeah this uh, filter more file so let me add this into my php add these both one and uh, uh, then i need to add this so uh, i am o.l okay just go here i am o.l these files copying them from there okay i don't know let me to end this out so i'm going to copy all of the ones i am oil this contain a lot of files and here need to copy them and paste this here and yes these are now pasted and uh, go back and we need to call imagic uh, or burning on version yes we have already copied this imagic and uh, now let's uh, go to our browser and test this again refresh it and see oh i need to restart my server okay restarted this give it a refresh and boom so now we are able to run this out at least and why it's behaving like this because we need to convert this into the base 64.